Hi, and welcome to my guide of the Mogor mini quest. The quest requirement is Plague City, and the skill requirement is 20 cooking. But if you want to slay the Mogors after the mini quest is completed, you will need to have 32 Slayer to be able to do so. I just need it. It's a bucket of water, nettle tea, and a hangover cure. Now, how to make some nettle tea? First, you will need to pick some nettles. There are two places where you can get them. It's either outside, next to the wall of the Draenor Jail, or just a little bit east of the Cannabis Slayer Master. But to be able to pick those nettles, you will need to be wearing any kind of gloves, except for magic related, which includes Graceful. Else, the nettles will deal you two damage and you will not have any nettles. You will also need a bowl of water and an empty teacup. Simply use your nettles on a bowl of water to get nettle water, then heat it up on a range or a fire. This will require 20 cooking and you will get some nettle tea. Right click on it and use it on an empty teacup and you will have a cup of tea. Next, for the hangover cure, you will need a snake grass, bucket of milk and a chocolate dust. First, add the chocolate dust to the milk and then add the snake grass to the chocolate milk and you will get a hangover cure. Now for the final item, after the mini quest is completed, to make the mogors appear, you will need to have some fishing explosives. You can buy these from any Slayer Master. Where to start this mini quest is simply south of Remington and west of Port Serim. Near the water and some willows you should find Skippy. Talk to him. Then select the first option, I am sure I would as well. Next, use a bucket of water on Skippy. Skip through the conversation by pressing the spacebar. And now Skippy says that he is cold. Right click on your cup of tea and use it on Skippy for him to uh, warm up. Skip through the dialogue a little bit more and he will say that he has a hangover. Next, use your hangover cure on Skippy. And after you've given him this, he will feel better and he will talk to you about mudskippers and how you can uh, make them appear and also where they are. Alright, after the long conversation is over, the mini quest is actually over and let's now go to mudskipper point to see how to let the mogors appear. So simply south of the uh, mudskipper point altar, just keep going south. Boss Thurgo until you reach Mudskipper Point. And on the eastern side of the Mudskipper Point, you should find Omnia's fishing spot. Use your fishing explosive on it. You will throw it in. And then a Mogor of level 60 will appear. Now you can simply attack it. Now the Mogors are usually only killed for their unique drop of flippers and mudskipper hats. Besides from that they only drop big bones and raw fish. Also one last notice is if you want to train or uh, want to get some flippers and you have a low defense or you don't have prayer potions, there is a safe spot. Just go a little bit north. And if you look on your minimap, there is a little gap of water. If you just stand behind it, you can throw the fishing explosives all the way from there into the uh, fishing spot. And then the mogors will never be able to attack you. You do will need to have to use ranged or magic. Alright, this was my guide how to complete the mogor mini quest. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.